Hello YouTubers, I'm Parviz and this is our second video in Python Firebase. So in the previous video, uh, I had showed you that uh, how you can work with real-time database and also uh, uh, how you can integrate uh, uh, Firebase Admin SDK in Python. So in this video, we are going to uh, talk about Cloud Firestore. Now, if you see the documentation of Firebase, it's telling that cl Cloud Firestore is a uh, flexible, flexible, scalable database for mobile, web, and server development from Firebase and uh, Google Cloud Platform. So, like Firebase real-time database, it keeps your data in sync across client apps through real-time listeners and offers offline support for mobile and web. So, you can build responsive apps that work regardless of network latency of or internet connectivity so now what is the difference between cloud firestore and real-time database now if you see uh, in here another so now you can see that both uh, real-time database and cloud firestore are uh, no SQL databases now for the real-time database it stores data as one large JSON tree so we have saw the examples on uh, this um, real-time database on the previous video so now uh, simple data is very easy to store and also complex and uh, hierarchical data is harder to organize at scale and in the cloud fire store you can store data as collections of documents and simple data is easy to store in documents which are very similar to JSON and uh, complex or hierarchical data is easier to organize at scale uh, using sub collections within documents now now if you see in the offline support so um, you can see that in the real-time database the offline support is just for iOS and Android clients now the cloud firestore is offline support is for iOS Android and web clients so it's recommended to use a uh, cloud firestore now uh, so now let me just open my firebase console and this is the project that I have uh, created in my previous video and I'm going to open this and uh, click on database so in the database uh, you will see okay now you can see I have already crea created cloud fire store and uh, if you come in the database and if you haven't created you can just click on cloud fire store and uh, uh, it will be created so you can see this was the real-time database in the previous video and this is the cloud fire store now I'm going to just click on the cloud fire store and uh, now it's created and you can see that uh, right now we don't have any data in here just uh, it's telling that add data so you can create add data manually but we are going to use Python programming language now I'm going to open my PyCharm ID and I will show you Okay guys, so now uh, the first thing I need, uh, I have my configuration, I have added my uh, JSON key, now I'm going to first import uh, Firebase main. So you can watch the uh, first video uh, if you don't know about the con uh, configuration, how you can configure uh, Firebase admin SDK. So f from Firebase admin I'm going to import, uh, sorry sorry from firebase from firebase admin import credentials and from firebase admin import a uh, firestore okay now first i'm going to add my credentials in here so credentials dot certificate and in here you need to add a firebase sdk dot json so i have already added this file I created and added this file in my working directory and now I'm going to just uh, initialize uh, my so uh, firebase admin dot initialize app and I'm going to add my credentials in here so after this I'm going to just create a firestore dot client in here okay now we have created this uh, it's time to add some data in our uh, uh, cloud fire store so I have said that uh, uh, you can use collections and documents to add data now let me first create a doc ref in here so db dot collection 
and you can give a uh, name to your collection so it is employ and dot document so for the document I'm going to just give it for example EMP doc and now using docref I'm going to set or add the data into my Firestore so now in here you can give for example I want name so for the name uh, whatever you want let me just give a name and also you can add L name or last name and uh, whatever you want you can add and also for example I'm going to just add an H like this okay so now if I run this you will see that I have uh, these data in my Firestore so now let me just run this okay now we haven't received an error and if I uh, click on the database so and if I click on cloud Firestore you can see that I have an employee uh, I have my collection and also I have my doc so these are the data that I have added in the doc so this was uh, adding also you can add another collection to uh, for example to this employee so now let me just uh, show you for this and I'm going to just uh, let me just comment this like this okay so the first thing I need I'm going to just uh, create a doc ref in here so doc ref and uh, db dot collection and my collection name is employee dot document and I want to add a document for example I'm going to add emp2 doc and now I can set or add the data so dot set So let me just uh, name, for example, whatever you want. Let me add John. L name. Doe. And uh, I'm going to give an email. So at gmail.com and uh, also let me just add an age in here like this okay so now let me just uh, run this okay now you can see the data is added and if I check you can see I have mp2 doc and if I click on this you can see that this is the data that I have added also you can delete this or you can edit the field so now the, the last thing in here I want to show you so that how you can retrieve the data of uh, read or retrieve the data so now let me just show you also after uh, reading the data I will show you some uh, complex queries so the best thing about cloud firestore is this that you can do complex query on your data so I will show you some basic uh, example of query uh, so first uh, for reading uh, let me just create an AMP uh, ref db dot collection and in here uh, the my collection name is employee and after this let me create a docs mp ref dot stream now I'm going to just create a for loop so for doc in docs and now I can print my ID uh, and also data so dot format doc dot ID and doc uh, dot to dict because it, uh, we want to print this as a dictionary so like this okay now if I run this okay now you can see that this is our data so that uh, we have retrieved so lm name and this is the data okay so now I have said that you can do some uh, complex uh, queries uh, on the, your data so I will show you some basic query of that uh, so for that let me just create a new python file okay now uh, I have created a new python file and I have added um, the required classes and also my credentials 
Uh, after this, uh, I'm going to, uh, if you see, I have just uh, uh, two data in here. Now I want to add some more data because uh, I'll show you the query. So let me just create an employee ref in here and I can use db dot uh, collection db dot collection and uh, in here you need to add your collection name so my collection name is employee like this and uh, employee ref dot document so now you need to add for example your document let me just call it bdoc and dot set and in here I'm going to set my data so let me just uh, copy uh, the data from my previous video now from my previous code so I have just copied this and paste this in here okay now uh, so let me just change this to Bob and let me change whatever you want for example Bob and uh, also I'm going to just add uh, one more field for example salary in here so 1000 like this okay and now let me just run this so like this you can add so let me just first run this okay the data is added and if I check you can see that I have uh, uh, my EMP or my this uh, B doc in here with this Bob data now uh, I'm going to pause the video and I want to just add some more data and you can just change these and uh, your data will be added so now let me just add some more data okay guys now I have added some data and if you check so these are uh, the data in here so for example uh, I'm going to just query on this uh, Bob and I want to uh, read or retrieve this data now for this uh, in here uh, let me just uh, comment this okay now I'm going to just create a docs in here and uh, db dot collection and uh, I'm going to just give my collection name and now you can use where so dot where and in here I'm going to write the name uh, for example the name is uh, uh, the name is Bob like this okay and dot stream now I'm going to just create a full loop so for uh, doc and docs and I can print this dot format and uh, I want doc dot ID with uh, doc dot to dict so because it is doc to dict okay now if I run this okay now you can see that this is our B dog the name is Bob and the salary is 1000 so now let me show you another query for example we want to get the data according to the salary so now let me just show you now uh, first let me just uh, copy this and I'm going to uh, comment this and paste this in here so this time employ this time I'm going to use a uh, salary so I want the salary should be uh, for example greater than 1000 now if you see in here we have uh, uh, the first one is a uh, salary is uh, 2000 so this was 1000 and the third was 2000 and this was also I think this was 800 and uh, so for this we don't have any salary and for this also so it will return for as a uh, two data that is greater than 1000 so now let me just run this okay now you can see that these are the salary of uh, greater than 1000 so we have 
Now, if you change this, for example, to less than 1000, you will see that we are receiving just one 800 uh, data. So let me just run this. So now you can see that this is just one data that we have 800. So thank you guys. Like this, uh, you can do uh, complex queries. This was just simple. Uh, you can check the documentation of Firebase. I will add source code to the video description. For the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.